it's Becky Boo here. Welcome to my channel. I told you guys I was going to change my hair color and I did. So this is what we have. I wanted it more um, lilac-y, lavender at the top, but it didn't take like one or two. It's okay. I might even just throw in some like next week. It's not a big deal. Anyway, you guys wanted a tutorial for the eye look that I wore in my last video, which was my BoxyCharm unboxing. I recreated the eye look from that video. I'm wearing the same shirt, don't judge me. And I just changed the lips just because of my hair color. I wanted to kind of tie it all together. I totally could have went in with the same lip color. The lip color I was wearing in that video was ABH Potion Liquid Lipstick. For this video, I'm wearing ABH Soft Lilac Liquid Lipstick. But you could really, you know, you could do anything. You could do purple, you could do blue, you could do black, whatever you want to do. If you would like to see how I got this eye look, then please keep on watching. All right, to start off this look, I'm taking the NYX Full Throttle Shadow Stick in Femme Fatale and placing this all over my eyelid. Then I'm blending that out with a Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. I said this in so many other videos, but a dual fiber brush is best for blending out cream products. So after I have that blended out, I'm going in and adding another layer of the shadow stick. So it's more pigmented and again, blending. So then I'm going into the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and taking the shade Filter, which is a really nice powdery blue, and placing this in the upper crease area as my transition shade. And I'm taking like a really big fluffy brush. I believe this one is from Furless. So then I'm going into the NYX Ultimate Brights Shadow Palette and I'm taking that magenta shade there on a MAC 217 and I'm placing this in my crease. Taking the brush I used with the blue before and blending that out. And I'm just adding more of that magenta shade. Now I'm taking the deepest purple in the palette and placing this on the inner and outer thirds of my eye to start with. And then I'm placing it on the center of my eyelid. Then I'm taking the MAC 217 and blending out that crease again. Then I'm taking the Stila Magnificent Metals in Into the Blue, which I guess is part of the Mermaid collection, I believe. Such a pretty color. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So I'm just placing this all over my lid and then I, immediately I'm taking a blending brush and going over the crease area. These dry so quick and they're so hard to move around once they're already set. So do that immediately. Now I'm taking the KVD Trooper Tattoo Liner and just quickly lining my lash line. Now we're jumping onto the lower lash line. I'm taking that shadow stick again and then blending it out. Then I'm taking the magenta shade that I used in my crease and blending that out. And then using the bigger brush to just kind of blend it all together. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighting Palette and I'm taking Illusion and placing that on the inner corner of my eye. Guys, this palette is stunning. So I'm taking Strobe and placing this at my brow bone for a highlight. Then I'm taking more of the Stila Magnificent Metals, placing this on my lower lash line and blending. And then I'm taking that deeper purple and placing that on the outer third of my lower lash line and just going over some on the top lid and then blending. Now I'm taking the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers 
in the shade Acid Fairy and placing this on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to be popping on some Lily Lashes Miami Lashes and this is the finished eye look. All right, so this is the completed look. I already told you what lip color I was wearing in the beginning, so that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you on my next video.